<laughs> what's up, what's up, what's up, everybody? Hey, you see me rocking the 12 tribes of Israel, the stones, the breastplate right here. I wish it was bigger, but you know, the real deal, it costs a lot, like I was telling you in that other video. Um, but yeah, we going on, we going on. Okay, so we're going to get to it. Listen, but um, let me tell you something. This jewelry right here, this is lapis lazuli, these beads right here. This is high protection from the breast stone, breastplate of the 12 tribes of Israel. You get this stone on Amazon, if you're buying them crystals and stuff. Yeah, you get this stone. This is one of the 12 stones. And um, also, lapis lazuli is the same thing. You see my eyeshadow, y'all? You see that blue? You see that? That's lapis lazuli, too. Why you think the Egyptians was wearing that, that, you know, look like the the pineal gland, the third eye, that the way they did that makeup thing? Yeah, that's that blue lapis lazuli. It's very energetic, and it's very pr protective over you. So, yeah, you rock a little bit of that blue, honey. It's, it's almost like the purple crown chakra. It's, you notice how closely related it is? Yeah, it's deep. So, yeah, that, and like I was saying, get you some frankincense essential oils because this you can use this like jesus the mighty halls of yahushua when he was born remember the three wise men and they gave him frankincense and myrrh yo this is very good especially for men when i was talking about making that deodorant but not even just you can use it for so many things i mix it with my anointing moon water and make it i put it in the moon water a little florida water is in there and the essential oil the frankincense is in there it smells so good but yeah i've done it all over myself when it, before i even start in the psalm 91 psalm 23 begin my day with it and my day with it you know cover the house cover the house cover everything so i hope you like that last video <laughs> talk about hair and all that good and bad hair see if i can remember that y'all remember that the movie uh tisha campbell and jasmine guy in them school days Spike Lee film. I like that movie. I saw that dance over there. I was like, oh, the ladies is crazy. Spike Lee put that in there. But hey, got to address these things. We've got to speak about things that they try to make us think are the unspeakable. No, we talk about what we want. <laughs> All right, so getting into this one with the court system. Now, y'all know I'm probably going to have to speak in that code some things. So I'll put in writing below. You'll see it flash up here at certain times letting you know what I'm referring to. Okay, if it's a word that I suspect I shouldn't come out with. Because we ain't getting in no trouble. Now, you seen they retracted that strike against me and put the gave me back the video to repost. I had deleted it once they striked it, so I had to repost it. But, yeah, that's why I put a picture of them uh, reinstating it in the beginning of the video so part two is back up it looks like a white letter in the front but that's part two you can watch that right here and i'm glad they did that i was i was just you know i wish they didn't do that because you know one and two and then i reviewed it and reviewed it and again i ain't see nothing wrong so i knew ain't nothing i said wrong except there was one part that part i bleeped out and i only did that myself they said it's reinstated so there's nothing wrong with it but i did that on my own because i didn't want them to find something again you know so, so you never know how it works so i just bleeped out a little bit but kind of let you know what the words on the bottom okay so let's get into this because it's going to be about two videos maybe i don't know all right so regarding the court systems okay so everything that has to do with them dudes you know the ones we talked about 33 33 we talked about that in those other last videos with the moors and how they evolved into the you know what's those are who we're referring to today, 33s. So they run the court system. I hate to break the news to you. And um, it, it, what people don't really know, and this I got from Jordan Maxwell. Yeah, I sure did. Because he breaks it down. He says they run a system, they're under a system called CRIS, C-R-I-S. It means Court Registry Investment System. And it's under that Admiralty Law. It's run by another set of bankers that are undercover secret their name starts with c too but I, i'm not gonna say it so anyway um uh, oh so this 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 um, this insured company that is behind the scenes the judges work closely with them they're the ones that cause you to, be, to get the clink clink sometimes when you ain't you should be innocent or whatever so it, 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 okay, so look at that square and compass that their symbol is. You know what I'm talking about, right? Yeah, the square and compass. So that, listen to this. This is going to bug you out. It resembles a lot of things. Think baseball field, okay? The diamond shaped, that's the square and compass. The ball is in your court, 
Remember this term, the ball is in your court. Same thing with basketball, baseball, courtroom. The ball is in your court, get it? So, it's designed that way. Like in the field with the game, pitcher, he's got this set, this is first base, second base, third base, the umpire, the court, and the field, okay? So, in the courtroom, you got your defendant, the prosecutor, the attorney is the mouthpiece, and the plaintiff and defendant is considered, you're considered a dead person in their eyes. That's the way the behind the scenes, you have no idea. So, you, the, the judge can't speak to you. That's why you have to have your mouthpiece represent you in court. The ball is in your court if, the def, if you're the plaintiff, you see? So, they're playing that game to make get the defendant to have the ball in his court, bouncing around. They're playing a the game on you. They're playing in your face, okay? Basketball, think basketball, uh, it's, it's all a game. Justice for sale. Liabilities and insurance. It's all crazy. The judge has an investment system where they get paid by insurance companies when they find you guilty of a felony. It's pinned on you. They operate this way behind the scenes. A lot of money is at stake, okay? Uh, they'll send you, uh, no, a lot of money uh, will end, end of your, the money with end of you. Yeah, you get hit, pinned a felony on you basically because your body is under security on the New York Stock Exchange, okay? It's under the security. So you watch that film, 13th Amendment. That's a documentary. I think it's still up on uh, uh, Netflix, but you could probably see it for free on the tube, on YouTube. Yeah, because, yeah, that's a very good documentary. It explains the 13th Amendment and how when slavery ended, it didn't really end because the 13th Amendment says slavery is now ended, but however... If you get in trouble with the law, they have the right to arrest you and enslave you in the prison system. <laughs> so look at the prison system today, how many people are in there. And how many people don't be getting off or they, you know, stuck on some crazy charges and child. Even if you see these cases that come up, the people are innocent. And then they, they proved it with the exoneration of the DNA and everything and they still ain't get it. Didn't they just uh, execute somebody recently? Oh, it's horrible the things they do. It's all about that undercover insurance thingy I'm telling you about. Listen, they playing the game. So sometimes when you're like, what happened? How did he go free? Unbelievable. Yeah, like this whole BLM stuff. I don't know what has happened with that. But listen, there's things that operate behind the scenes is what I'm trying to tell you. So when you watch 13th Amendment, the law says you're still a slave once you commit a crime. And we all know not all of us are guilty. They used to they used to post slavery uh, after slavery. They used to snatch up people walking down the block. You say you dropped a piece of bubble gum. <laughs> they didn't care. They called that loitering. Ten years on the chain gang. Stuff like that used to be post slavery. That's that's how bad it was. They they did not want to end slavery like the way it ended. You know you saw the war and all that, the Confederate and all that. They was like, oh no. We're going to get you back in there. You're going to be beating rocks. You're going to be doing whatever. Working on the chain gang. They did, did listen. They find ways to get you in there. Ten years, life. You've seen stories where this guy, kid, got to thir his whole life. He was only 13 years old. One, actually, two. I'm crazy. So, how is corporate U.S. Uh, uh, profiting off of that system, the prison system? Y'all know the phone charges when they make calls from jail. Outrageous commissary food charges for that ramen noodles and crap they're giving them, trying to get something decent to eat that's garbage gps tracking device when they get out that ankle bracelet they got to pay they got to have a family member or somebody pay and the charges are through the roof lawyer fees plea deals you know it's a slide of hand people making uh making that cash on you know on based on guilt or innocence or who's behind the scenes might be a rich person and high officials and you just it's a political systems all up in there like you know so anyway got more to go it's gonna have to go over to two but I got a little bit left because yeah two i'll finish up with some shout outs so um political season could cause your behind to be determined how your sentence or extreme sometimes just to play play with you yeah, you know, we know how they do that. This is who is in charge of the truth, justice. <laughs> and they use the book. Lay your hand on the book. They don't even believe in the book. I mean, who believes in the book? Allegedly. For educational purposes, we talking here. All right. <laughs> See you in the next one. 
tune back in part two. Love you.